take it down to the hard surface and clear a, a nice area. Composting is a natural decomposition process of treating household waste, garden waste, animal manure, and other types of biomass, in which organic material is broken down by microorganisms in the presence of oxygen and water to create compost or humus, which can be used as a natural fertilizer for gardening and farming instead of chemical fertilizers. This is all the food waste that we've been eating over the last four or five days. And we've also got um, rice paddy straw as well. All organic matter is made up of substantial amounts of carbon combined with lesser amounts of nitrogen. The balance of these two elements, along with water and oxygen, in the correct ratio, is key to making good compost. The bacteria in the compost require carbon for energy and nitrogen for protein synthesis. I think the straw will break down eventually. For every unit of nitrogen used by the bacteria, it requires about 30 units of carbon, along with roughly 50 to 60 percent moisture content. One method of making compost is called the Berkeley method or hot composting and this system is different from others in that all components of the compost is mixed together at the one time. So that includes carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and water. After the compost ingredients have been thoroughly turned in a pile, a hole is made in the center to ensure oxygenation of the compost. Place cardboard or big leaves over the pile to trap the heat produced and prevent excessive drying. If the compost is made correctly, the internal temperature should rise within the first 24 hours. Is it? Is it? The ideal size of the compost pile should be about 3 feet wide and 3 feet high. The pile should be turned every two days, as the bacteria requires plenty of air to survive. In addition, water can be added if the compost is too dry, just enough to make the pile moist. Earthworms, bacteria, and other organisms living in the soil break down the organic matter in the compost, creating natural fertilizer and soil. If properly and rigorously maintained, compost can be ready in about two weeks.